Maggie here from Notes from the Sewing Room. Thanks for joining me here on my channel today. Today's video is a little bit different from what you usually see me do here on my channel and that is because I'm taking you on a little trip and we are going to Crafty Sew and Sew in Leicester. So basically I'm going there tomorrow and I've been invited there as part of the Sew Upcycle 22 challenge that both myself and Karen from Sew Little Time are doing. And Crafty Sew and Sew basically um, have said that they're going to be doing some upcycling workshops in the future so why don't we come along tomorrow and do some upcycling like all together as a group so I'm so excited about going I'm really looking forward to it and of course it'd be nice to have a little catch up with Karen as well and we can have a, a chitter chatter <laughs> during um, the time that we're actually doing our upcycling bits now if you are unfamiliar with Crafty So and So they are a sewing company that's an independent sewing company should I say that are based in Leicestershire and they organise workshops of different kinds to do with all levels of sewing stuff. They organise um, amazing events. So most recently I went to the Dressmakers Ball, which was really good. Um, lovely to meet so many other kind of sewists when I was there. It was really fun. And of course I got to make a lovely dress to go, which I really enjoyed doing. And um, they also sell fabric. So I'm looking forward to taking a little trip behind the scenes and having a look at everything as well as um, doing a couple of little upcycling projects when I'm there. So the projects that I'm planning on working on tomorrow are two little tops um, that I'm planning to make for William. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of footage of what the items look like um, before I actually cut them up. So there's basically two men's t-shirts. So one has got an anchor print on and the other one is just kind of a plain navy. So they were t-shirts that we already had at home and um, I just decided that I was gonna upcycle them as part of this um, Upcycle 2022 challenge um, that we are hosting over on Instagram. Um, so basically I've cut up a um, one of, well, kind of, I joined both t-shirts together. I was really hoping that I could make a little matching set for William, my little boy. So I was hoping for like a top and some trousers to match or top and shorts or something like that. But unfortunately, the fabric just didn't stretch far enough for me to be able to do that, which is a little bit of a shame. So instead, I've managed to squeeze out one poppy and jazz strawberry sweatshirt, which is one of my kind of favourite kids patterns. So that's going to be really nice. And then the other top that I'm making is kind of a poppy and jazz, but not really. <laughs> um, it's kind of a poppy and jazz strawberry sweatshirt, should I say, but not really. So it's going to have short sleeves. Um, and hopefully um, I've got enough for the hem band and the neck band and stuff like that. But if not, I'll have to improvise and come up with something else. But I shall show you all of my bits that I've cut out tomorrow um, so that you can have a look at those. And of course, I'm going to guide you around um, the crafty studio and have a little look at everything. So I hope you enjoy coming on this little trip with me. Um, if you haven't heard of Sew Up Cycle 22, by the way, it's um, a really cool challenge where me and Karen are basically um, encouraging anyone, so all of you out there, to get involved with an upcycling challenge throughout the month of October. So the idea is that you post a before picture and an after picture of what your upcycled garment looks like. So in my case, what I'm making tomorrow is going to be a men's t-shirt, turning it into a kid's top. So anything like that would be fantastic. You can use an old tablecloth, curtains, an old garment that you've made, a ready to wear garment, basically any, anything goes as long as you're making it either for yourself or for someone else. So um, I really hope that loads of you take part. Um, we're really excited about the challenge and we've got loads of amazing sponsors. So thank you to everyone who is a sponsor. We've got everything from fabric to PDF patterns. We've also got a digital sewing publication as well. So um, yeah, there's lo lots of cool stuff. So lots of prizes to be had. Um, and this competition is open worldwide as well, which is fantastic. So I do hope you are, if you're enjoying taking part if you are already, or if you didn't know about it already, then please do join in. It'll be really fun. But um, I shall join you again tomorrow when I'm over in Leicestershire and we'll take it from there. So I've made it onto the train, okay? It's an absolutely dreadful day uh, weather-wise, so I decided to get a train rather than driving today, so I shall be back when I'm there just to let you know how I'm getting on with my journey. I've got my sewing machine and my overlock here, so I'm all set for the day, all wrapped up nice and warm and cosy, so I'll see you again soon. So I've just arrived at the train station and now I'm making my way over to Kirsten's own 
is absolutely chucking it down with rain so I'm hoping to not get too wet on my way over there. So I've made it here to the maker's yard to come and make coffee so and and I'm really excited about the upcycling that I've got planned for today. I've probably been a little bit over, over ambitious <laughs> with the projects that I've brought with me but we'll see how we go. So I'm now in the maker's yard in this lovely studio here at Crafty So and So. I've got my special crafty cup here <laughs> um, full of some nice yummy coffee. So that's just what I needed because I got absolutely drenched in the rain on the way here. Um, I've now got my overlocker all set up, which I shall show you in just a second. And you probably remember from earlier in this video, I showed you a couple of t-shirts which I was planning to upcycle. So I've cut this out into two different garments. So they're actually both based on the Poppy and Jazz strawberry sweatshirt. So one is the strawberry sweatshirt completely, and the other one is kind of a bit of a hack, and it'll just hopefully work out to be a t-shirt. I've probably been a little bit um, over ambitious because I've also brought a couple of other projects with me. I probably won't get onto them because I'm probably chatting too much and stuff, but <laughs> I've got them anyway. So this is um, the arm of the puppy and jazz uh, little garment. So you can see so I'm using the anchors on the arm and then I've got the plain blue fabric for the body. Um, and I've got the anchors for the hem um, and a bit of a mishmash for the other t-shirt as well so um, in a while I'm going to be showing you around the studio a little bit which is going to be really fun um, and we're also going to be doing a little interview with Sarah from Crafty So and So as well which I'm looking forward to so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> and Karen what are you making today? Um, I'm making the poppy pinnacle by the dressmaker's closet in some um, old curtains stripey beachwear great that looks super looks yeah. really really nice so hopefully that will turn out um, as a summer dress and then i do have another project which i've brought with me just in case i get time to do it and that's my spotty dress that i shared in my plans video and hopefully i can get some fabric to add to that jacket that didn't work out and we shall see how we go with that but that won't be for this challenge obviously because i'm adding new fabric to it but yeah i just felt i didn't want to waste it so hopefully i can salvage it I think I think your coat's going to look brilliant, and also the the uh, dress that you're doing there yeah. as well is going to look lovely. So I'm just yeah, overlocking the pocket inserts yeah. at the minute. Yeah, so it's so, so pretty, and um, you can probably just see here. Yeah. You've got the the lovely um, flower print on there. It's really lovely. Yeah, this was from Felicity Fabrics. This one, so it's just remnants of what I had left over, and I've used quite a few of this, these pieces of fabric yeah. for like bias binding and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's been really nice. It's really nice um, cotton. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I finished my first project, which is really exciting. So as I said, this is the Poppy and Jazz Strawberry Sweatshirt. And um, I'm really pleased that the two fabrics work quite nicely together. And I think that's gonna look really cute on William. So yeah, first one done, so thumbs up. <laughs> So I'm now on to project uh, number two, which is actually another version of the strawberry sweatshirt. So this is actually a t-shirt version. So if I just show you, so I've got the original man's shirt sleeve type thing there. So you can see I'm reusing the cuff, which is quite nice. Um, excuse the dog fur, <laughs> there's a little bit on here um, that will be coming off. Um, and I'm just putting in the sleeve now on my overlocker, as you can see. Um, and I've got a few other bits and pieces to get on with here, but it's all go here in the Crafty So and So studio at the moment. Um, we've got Kim over Hi. here. So um, she's actually been amending a dress, um, which is lovely, um, which she'd made previously. And she's added in some uh, lovely elastic around the center bit. Um, she's just modeling there, it's lovely. Um, and- Taking um, the neck at the back. Yeah, taking so in the neck a little bit. So yeah. fits a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, it, it looks absolutely beautiful on, so that's really nice. Um, and then Reggie is over here, 
And uh, Reggie, um, we met originally at the Dressmakers Ball and she won the best dress sewist, I think. Um, so Reggie's been really, really creative and she's actually making a, a beautiful kind of corset with skirt and joining lots of bits and pieces together. So um, it's really beautiful. My favorite part is the lace. So that's really nice. And um, Sarah from Crafty Sew and Sew is over there. And I believe you're having a go at doing some knitting. Sorry, from this month's um, magazine, and I've already made one. So, there they are! Yay! That looks lovely. Which a bit long, so I'm going to take that down, put a little hem across it. But yeah, it's yeah. Very nice. yeah. That colour is literally my favourite colour as well. That it's pink colour, it's beautiful. It? Yeah. And I wear a lot of this colour as well, and like mustard, so I love that combination. Yeah, it's lovely. Perfect for winter. Um, how are you getting on, Karen, with your project? So I'm getting on quite well. I've um, put the skirt pieces together and sewed the pockets, done the bodice, and I'm just um, adding some bias binding for the neckline. So I am adding a few extra bits onto this, but I'm not entering myself in the challenge, so I think I'm allowed. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not allowed to enter, we're running the challenge. <laughs> yeah, exactly, so I thought I'm all right to add a few little bits onto it because I have to, kind of have to really, I suppose. Yeah, yeah I didn't get a chance to make my own bias binding. But I am using bits, leftover bits. So this is bias binding from the Specky Seamstress and it's just bits that have been left over from previous projects. So it's not brand new, it's yeah. used. Yeah, I absolutely Remnant love the, um, the bias binding yeah, from, from and there. Yeah, just literally, look, just got enough on there to do that neckline. So yeah. I've folded it over ever so slightly, but that's um, literally just fitted perfectly yeah. on. So hopefully that'll be all right. But yeah, so it's coming along. Yeah. It will be perfect. So yeah, it's lovely. It yeah. It's happening. Yeah. I've just got to piece the um, the bodice onto it. I've got to gather the skirt yeah. and then put the bodice onto it. Yeah. So we'll see yeah. how that goes. I'm sure you're going to get it finished. It's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. I mean, usually I whip through this, but I've been chatting and drinking, yeah. a, you know, a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm here now with Sarah from Crafty So and So, one of the owners, and I just thought we'd have a bit of a catch up about what you've got coming up, Sarah. So um, Crafty So and So have got loads of uh, good workshops, I, I think, and, and other kind of events that you do through the year. Uh, what, what have you got coming up for people to get involved in? Ah, well, we are full in the swing of Christmas now, of course. <laughs> um, we do have some non-Christmas workshops as well to build up your skills and make gifts in time for, for the big day. Um, but we have got uh, some stocking workshops coming up, advent calendars. Uh, we just had some lovely panels in actually from Dashwood. Um, so you can come and make a gorgeous advent calendar with us. Oh, using beautiful. These, these uh, panels, they're really lovely. And they're quite easy to make as well. They're yeah. not, um, not too fiddly or complicated, but they are something that you're gonna make yeah. and use for years and years to come. I actually made one of them from one of your packs last year and oh, it was really you? good. Yeah, Fantastic. really good. Yeah. Are you looking forward to getting it out again? This yeah, year? no, they're, they're perfect. And like you said, they can be used so many times. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of the start of Christmas for me because mm. I tend to get them out at the beginning of like November, really, yeah. and start filling them up. Yeah. And yeah. I'm hoping because my daughter's three and a half now, she's going to get really excited seeing all these little oh, packages filling the, yeah. the advent calendar. So, yeah, it all gets started early in the. Uh, in the crafter's um, oh. uh, house, I think, in any crafter's house. Yeah. <laughs> what kinds of things do you put in the pockets on, on the advent calendar? Um, well, I usually, well, when it was just me and Matt, I'd put sweets in mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. But obviously with a toddler, you don't really want to encourage them to be having sweets every day. So it'll probably be one day sweet. And then I was thinking about putting pieces from like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, that's a good idea. Like that, or just like um, taking a kit or a, um, a toy or something like that and putting mm -hmm. pieces of that toy wrapped up mm. so maybe playmobile or something yeah. like that oh great because then it's not too pricey but it's something that she can put together and enjoy yeah. kind of seeing built in, oh, the, in the build-up literally yeah so, i wouldn't have thought of doing that that's a brilliant idea yeah because you can go and buy lots of little tiny um fiddly bits and pieces but you know mm. they tend to have a lot of that kind of thing anyway yeah. Um, she's probably got about 10 little bubble mixture things. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so I yeah, think she's yeah. got enough of that kind of thing. Oh. So yeah, yeah, that's basically what, what I plan to do. But yeah, you can come and um, join us on a Friday or a Saturday. Can't remember the exact dates, I'm afraid, off the top of my head. But all of our workshops are on our Crafty So and So website. Yeah. Oh, um, and there's yeah. spaces on all of them at the moment, I think. Uh, we've also got um, our beginners classes coming up. We've got yeah. one in December. Yeah. Um, and more long term, we're looking at doing a pattern cutting retreat. Oh, great. So that'll be a three day pattern cutting retreat um, in Leicester. 
Uh, we've also got a sewing weekender coming up in March. Oh, great. And then, of course, we've got the sewing camp mm -hmm. and we have got the dressmaker's ball, which we are just about to confirm the date for next year for. So lots and lots coming up for the next year. It's really exciting. If, if someone was um, a complete beginner sewist and they want to kind of learn the first bits and bobs that you need to know for sewing, if they were to do one of your beginner classes, what kinds of things can they, they get involved in and learn? So in our beginner's day, you make a cushion cover, you make a needle case, and you make a tote bag. So you go away with three things that you can take and look at on you know, a kind of day in, day out basis and say to yourself, I sewed these, therefore I can do it again. I can yeah. sew, I can make more projects. It's just a case of building up your confidence, really. So within that beginner's sewing day, you make all, of, all three of those and you go away with the, with the instructions so you can practice and, and keep developing your skills. Oh so. great and I think um, I've been having a little nosy around the studio um, just pan this way a little bit so you can see um, there's loads of uh, really nice fabrics that you've got at the moment I, I believe a lot of them are on sale. Yes we are selling through our fabrics we found that it's a little bit tricky to actually um, get the supply chain that we need at the moment to give good value for, for fabrics um, so we are concentrating more on the events and the workshops and um, providing um, an opportunity to share our knowledge and experience with you more and encourage you to, to learn to sew. Um, but the fabrics we are selling off and at the moment they're all up between about 75%, uh, sorry, 25% to 50% off. Um, so there's some really good value bargains out there at the moment. Great, so maybe if people are thinking of making Christmas presents for friends or family or, or themselves, <laughs> then maybe they could treat themselves to something. Absolutely, yeah. We've got some really lovely um, furs and cords, um, a few jerseys as well, which are really nice. They're all really lovely fabrics. Um, so yeah, we only buy the, the top quality and that's why we've been struggling to get the quality that we want at the price that we want, um, which is tricky. But the fabrics that we have got at the moment are great quality and great value. So. I, I've certainly over the years had some really good fabrics from Crafty So and So, and I've always felt like it's a, a brand that I can come to and know that I'm going to get a quality mm -hmm. rather yeah. than, because I, I find that sometimes when I buy online, it can be a little bit hit and miss yeah, about absolutely. what you're actually going to receive. Um, and I've always been really pleased with what I've had from here. Yeah. So. It's something that we're not dipping out of completely. We will still um, hold a core range of fabrics and mm -hmm. it might be something that we go into and back into in the future. Mm -hmm. um, just need to wait for things to settle down a little bit. Yeah. But at the moment, yeah, the events and workshops, we've got so much going on with that that we really have got a lot to, to concentrate on with those. So um, yeah, looking forward to getting our teeth into more events for the rest of the year and next year to come as well. Brilliant. Well, thanks for updating us on everything. It's a pleasure. And um, it's been a really a good day coming here and having a look around the studio and obviously doing a bit of upcycling too. So It's been really, really, really fun. Good. I think, I've, as I've been saying throughout the day, I have a little bit of a hang up about upcycling. I just don't have the ideas. I've got the techniques, um, but I don't necessarily have, have the ideas. And spending the day surrounded by you guys with all your ideas getting inspired has just been wonderful and um, i'll take this away with me and continue to be inspired i think <laughs> i hope <laughs> oh brilliant well um i know that um, i'll certainly be coming to some of your events again in the future it's always it's always been really fun so thanks for chatting to us it's a pleasure thank you for coming today <laughs> it's been a lovely day here at crafty so and so today so uh, we've had a, a look around the studio and we've chatted to sarah which has been great to find out about what's going on at crafty so and so um, karen's doing a fantastic job at getting on with her dress so um, she's still working away here now um and uh, regina's still busy doing her project but it's been a lovely lovely day having a look around the studio i hope you've been, hopefully you've enjoyed hearing about what they do here at crafty so and so and of course seeing some of the lovely lovely pretty fabrics so I think I'm going to be tempted to take something home with me. So um, I just wanted to show you quickly before I um, log off for the day, um, I've got to get the train back, <laughs> um, what I've been working on. So I already showed you my sweatshirt project that I did earlier. So I just got this one to quickly show you as well. So as you know, I had two men's t-shirts and I've actually managed to turn them into two little tops for my little boy. So um, this is the second one. So this is actually the poppy and jazz strawberry sweatshirt again um, I've actually just joined some different fabrics together there um, I will go into all the bits and pieces on this one in a future makes video so do uh, watch my channel for that but um, yeah it's a lovely little project I like this anchor fabric as well I think that's really sweet um, so yes 
but I'll leave it there for today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, if you do like watching this video or you have enjoyed it today, do press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll be back really soon. Bye. Thank you.